Here's what's coming up for Memphis Wrestling. July 10th is our next live TV taping featuring Memphis hip-hop artist Al Capone. Memphis Grizzlies mascot Grizz and MC BLJ plus WWE star Big Con. Catch them live along with the stars of Memphis Wrestling next Sunday, July 10th. Then July 31st is on sale now. Just when you thought it was safe to get back in the ring, Shark Boy is coming to Memphis Wrestling. Oh, shell yeah! All tickets are on sale now. Get yours right now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Just a quick reminder, subscribe for $5, $7, or $10 at www.patreon.com slash shooting the shiznit without a G. That's right, shooting the shiznit without a G. This episode is also brought to you by Spunk Loop. Dot com. Remember when you're getting funky like a monkey, if you know what I mean, you spunky. That's right. Go to www.spunkloop.com and tell them STS Pod sent you. We can all help prevent suicide. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline provides 24-7 free and confidential support for people in distress and also prevention and crisis resources for you and your loved ones. Call 1-800-273-8255. Shooting the shiznit, shooting the shiznit, best little wrestling podcast in the business, your host BT. Shooting the shiznit, shooting the shiznit, best little wrestling podcast in the business. Shooting the shiznit. Hey, I just want to welcome everyone to the 6th Annual Bloopers episode. Enjoy. It's a lot of fun. It's all the bloopers we had this year. Well, most of them anyway. I can't have them all, right? Uh, there's uh, Me and Lance get into it. I have some fun with uh, with Lance and a song, and uh, just just sit back and enjoy it. I know you guys will like it. And also at the very end, it's Patreon. That's right. This is the kind of stuff you'll get on Patreon, $5 a month. And uh, what it is is the posse, the posse had, we had a long discussion after the show, which was only on the Patreon version, audio version, and also the Breakout Stars episode that Lance and I did, well... This is our honorable mentions. I just want to throw it in there. Let you see what we do on Patreon. And uh, subscribe, guys. Have a happy, 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 happy holiday. Be safe. And thank you again for listening. Derek by God King. Denzel Washington. Not Denzel Washington, because that would be the actor Denzel Washington. It's Denzel Rollins. First weeds up top in your nose and your ears, and believe me, you need it, gentlemen, unless you're a Da Vinci and you only have one ear, but you need it for both ears. Weed Whacker is also water... Terrible 7-Eleven hot dog habit that I have to support. Uh, you can cash app us at dollar store BTSTS. July 2nd, on the Haytai football field at 7.30 p.m. for, for a... Uh, Hey, how many times can Lance say California in this small clip? Count them, guys. Also, I'll put some romantic music in the background as he starts romancing about going to California. Uh, the 11th song happened, Going to California, and that was the one that did it. So Going to California is the song that I picked as my favorite on the album. Uh, and I, I know I referenced this in the episode, but yes, going to California with the G, as Brian would say, uh, going to California is the Led Zeppelin song. So they purposely left off the G on this song. So it's going to California. 
So I don't know if they realize. Well, they probably did realize that people were going to mistake this for Led Zeppelin anyway, um, because of the similarity in the title. But they left off that G. Prob- I don't know. It, everything seems to be money related. So maybe they were. There was a trademark issue. I don't know. A completely different song, not a cover whatsoever, but not the Led Zeppelin song. The famous, much more famous Led Zeppelin song, going to Cal- going to California. Got to say it properly. So the reason I picked this is because it represents a young me so well. I mean, I. I was the guy who saw L.A. as paradise. Um, the music was there. You know, the weather was always perfect. The beautiful people were there. The stars were there. Celebrities were there. Um, I went a handful of times as a teenager and into my 20s in, to L.A., um, San Francisco and L.A., and San Diego for that matter. Uh, but primarily it was L.A. Um, and I was fascinated. I was just always fascinated by L.A. I've been a Dodger fan since I was a little kid. I think that's probably how it all started. Um and the the fact that I'm a Dodger fan had nothing to do particularly with well I guess it did have a sense to do with LA I honestly started liking the Dodgers when I lived near Miami when I was a little kid uh, because at the time we didn't have a baseball team down there and I loved the sport of baseball and I needed to pick a team and I mean yes there was the connection to Chicago already I was born in Chicago so I could have picked the Cubs or the Sox but I didn't um the the players that were on the Dodgers at that time were like the really cool guys like Garvey and Say and Davey Lopes. Uh, and so I just fawned on, the, I just gravitated towards the Dodgers and they were the color blue, which is ridiculous, but that was my favorite color. So I stuck with, I went with the Dodgers as a kid, stuck with the Dodgers. So that's why, that explains why I'm a Dodgers fan, if you guys didn't know. So, but I was just fascinated as I got older and older, I was more and more fascinated by Hollywood, by just LA itself, just everything, the California dream, you know, I just was always fascinated about it. And so much of the music that I loved was coming from there. The the Fleetwood Mac sound, the the Eagles, Jackson Brown, Linda Ronstadt, so many great bands. They all were coming from it felt like they were all coming from California, from LA. So my roots are Chicago, my family is in Chicago. I probably will never leave Chicago. I could see myself going out to LA for vacations again. Uh, hopefully, you know, at some point when I retire and I have some free time. And I can and get out there and really just enjoy sightseeing and doing stuff out in LA where I don't have to rush back. So, but like I said, my roots are Chicago. I love Chicago no matter what. No matter all the murders and everything else that's wrong with Chicago, it's still where my heart and soul is. So, but I still, you know, honestly to this day, I still drift off into those LA daydreams from time to time. Just like, what would life be if I had moved out, if I uprooted everything and moved out to LA? Um, everything would have been so different, but I'm happy where I'm at. I love my kids. The fact that I got married in Chicago and had my kids in Chicago uh, would probably not have happened had I moved to LA, so I wouldn't trade that for the world. So, But still, fascinated by LA. Nothing wrong with that. So this song, Going to California, is just a welcome. Here's Brian and Lance. Wait, you can't steal my gimmick. No, Friday live, Friday night from 304 Studios in Jonesboro, Arkansas. This is a STS Pod Dot Club production. I thought and it was right a 605 there, production where, or something. Where, 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 305 Studios or something. 304 Studios. Yeah, that production. That, 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 that's what I said, wasn't it? No, you said STS Pod Dot Club production. I did. That's what I say at the end every time. Hey, cluster. No, it's not. It's the same <laughs> thing I say during every episode. Well, I'm in the hers cookies and cream no, dipping dot studio. Stop! I'm stopping the broadcast. All right. Jesus, why did you do no, that? No, you didn't. You always say you always say you're going to say the 304 studios, and you I did, did not say, say 304 it. studios. You did not, dude. You did not. You I said, said this SDS. is a 304. Studios in Jonesboro, Arkansas. You and then I not. said it's an STS Pod Club oh. production. Okay. That's what I said. Okay. Let's just quit. <laughs> I'm serious, man. Why would you interrupt me during all of that? <laughs>
Because you always stop when you catch yourself doing it wrong. You cut yourself and, and then you start over. And I did do it wrong this time. All right. I think you did, but okay. All right. I, I, let's end the broadcast. This is stupid. <laughs> I'm serious. It's just stupid. I don't want people watching this. Okay, guys, I'm just going to uh, real quickly tell y'all how I want this. I can't sing. Y'all do such a much better job. This is Olivia Newton-John's Let's Get Physical song, and I want it to sound something like that. This. Let's get hostile, hostile. I want to get hostile. Let's review hostile. Let me hear Mark Southern talk. Mark Southern talk. Let me hear Mark Southern talk. Let's get hostile, hostile. I want to get hostile. Let's review hostile. And now let's review an American Hostile Championship Wrestling Show. I don't want you guys to say any host names and such because I don't know. It's going to be me and someone else doing it. So thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. Bluff, Missouri, June 18th at the Knights of Columbus Hall. Mm, yeah. Things you're going to sleep like a baby tonight. You know, the way he sings that and the way it's such a beautiful song. It's really interesting how they juxtapose. Ju, juxtapo, juxtapo, wait, I can't even say it. Juxtapo. No. We're going to stop the recording right there, 23, 23 minutes in, and I'm going to figure out how to pronounce this fucking word. All right, take two. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're live in three, four. Boom, boom, boom. That was easy for you to say. Uh, all right, let's start over. There's a blooper for this year. Oh. Uh, <sighs> and then go example mr andre andre mr andre uh, is that the I guy mis- who cuts your hair mr. yeah andre? it is okay. i want to edit that <laughs> <laughs> mr andre oh god i took my dog to get washed by mr andre did you forget what i was saying <laughs> cut <laughs> You were talking about the WWE guys having to slow down. To provide predatory, predatory, prop, prop. Burns are out, and hopefully your pubes. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code STSPOD20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and shri... Man, I can't say free today. I cannot say shri shipping. Shri shipping. How about some shri shipping? Join our Patreon site. Shite. Hey guys, I just want to take a moment to tell you about Athletic Brewing Company. This might sound strange to some people, but ABC makes non-alcoholic brews. Some people like me like to taste a beer with their food, but no, no, no. I've said none. Some people twice. For ticket information for Donovan, call 737. Oh, shit. For ticket information, call 757 blah, blah. His music was so under the radar, but yet touched so many lives. So rest in peace, Mr. Fogelberg. Um, and don't forget, I know it's kind of a mixed message, but I have fun everywhere I go. Listen to uh, the record store in a couple more weeks. Join us again and be happy. Be, uh... man, that was a terrible ending. So edit that out, Brian. We're live and we messed up. So there's your blooper for next <laughs> next time. Oh, At least I didn't say. 
Hey, at least I didn't say anal. All right, all right, here we go. Let's get started again. <laughs> it's time for the Cool Kids Countdown. shoot interview per se at the very front as Simon starts yeah. talking about tapioca pudding and we make a big joke about it here but it's the idea that these guys um still want to be in the ring right I mean what's what's your thoughts on on and then just give me your you know legit thoughts on Lawler Dundee getting in the ring again we also just found out today Rick Flair gets back in the ring the last day of July what is the deal with these guys? And well, if you do use Jerry Lawler, how what are you using? What do you do with Jerry Lawler in Memphis wrestling or Bill Dundee? So, so me personally, I mean, all right, I, I, I could care less about what anybody else does except for Little Chris, um, because I, I'm I can't I'm not in control of anybody, so it doesn't matter. I mean, it, I can control myself, and then he affects me. So obviously, you know whatever he does and whatever makes him happy is part of what uh, concerns me. You know, I mean, we're the champions right now, so nobody can do anything with us. I mean, but my thing with King and them, <clears throat> they are 70 something years old. It, they ask people to retire from regular jobs at 65 and I, I'm fine. Like King can still go, um, you know, I mean, he can still do stuff. But he, I don't know if you remember. I mean, I know you remember, but and so so does Mr. Chris. The thing with Flair when he won the Intercontinental title, we knew Flair wasn't going to win the world title. When he was in Evolution, he won the tag belts. It's the same thing. He could have easily came in and tagged with Derek and been the greatest tag team um, since the Fabs, you know, since PG-13 or whatever. I think that could have been awesome. And we would have showcased those guys on a different level. I mean, like Dustin loves the history of Memphis wrestling. If there's not another person that bleeds Memphis wrestling, it's delicious Dustin Star. And that Joker right there. I mean, and and just I mean, to it's him. uh, you know, we kid about who takes heat and everything, but that would have been perfect. DK takes Bro, the heat, how takes great the hot tag. Been. Lawler does pulls down the strap. Boom, boom, boom. Dude, you telling me that wouldn't have been great? Everybody would have loved it. Everybody Absolutely would love. Him. I mean, and and we all love the character King or whatever, and all that stuff. We all love the character Superstar, but our our whole thinking, and I, I think this is me saying, or my whole thinking was the same thing that AEW does. So, you know, Bill would get the rub on somebody, and you make somebody kind of, and, and they don't have to be a superstar. Give them a mass wrestler, call them the superstar, you know, or whatever. And let Bill manage the guy or whatever. Um, those guys are important. First of all, we get Bill some hair dye. But other than that, I, you know, I don't even I'm care about, the hair about that. Let's be I mean, honest. I mean, that's what the guys look like. I mean, this is what we look like. You know, what, I mean, I do? know, but, you know, it's just, um, you know, see, see, when I did the website, and I don't know if you guys don't, I don't know if you remember this, but when they would bring the older guy, now this was 11 years ago, or more than 11 years, when they brought the old guys in for the first time, uh, they had a huge crowd. Uh, what was this, the, the guy that would do, uh, he was a little Mega Man. Who is Mega Man? Rodney, Rodney Grimes. Grimes. He would do a big show. He'd bring in all the stars. People would go see Lawler, Valiant, Dundee, 
and the moon dogs and whatever. And as soon as they saw them, they would go, these aren't the people that we grew up watching. They're, they're old now, which uh, that's what happens. And they, the next show they wouldn't come out to see, it'd be like half the attendance. Uh, I love yeah. your idea of that, but then we have not only you said we love the King character. We the we grew up watching King was my favorite. Bay was Valiant, Dundee. Dundee's always been an ass to me, but fun a funny ass. Put it that way. He always shook my hand when he left the dressing room. Uh, but it's I don't know, Simon. Maybe that would have been great, but I just don't know if I want to see guys that old in the ring. All right. So, and they never put over it. They don't. We uh, joke about this, but this go. is true. They don't want anyone to get over well, on them. I'm going to tell you uh, something right now. And look, this is like the honest to God. Like, I, and nobody can argue. I mean, that, you can't argue with me because I, I don't really give two shits what you're saying on anybody. Because this <laughs> is the truth. Dustin Starr. Look at my face right now. Dustin Starr has created more new talent in one year than anybody has created the whole time Memphis wrestling is going on because everybody in Memphis wrestling had, had a career that was 40 years long. And that's great. I, I'm happy for those guys, but you're so over. Why would you not put other guys over? It's not a threat to you. They never it's did. Not a, it's not a threat to you. I mean, Derek was the closest to, to getting to that point of over, but Dude, the Memphis last two people, died. the last two people that they pushed to get PG-13. over Oh, well, I, PG-13 because of Randy Hills. But let me tell you, the other two guys was Brian Christopher and Jeff Jarrett. Do you know how long yeah. ago that was? Dude, over 30 years. And they over didn't 30, want to put years. anyone else over. Chris, what do you do? What What's your thoughts on the older guys? And, and we've talked, me and Dustin's talked about it. Uh, I talk about it with almost everyone there. I have people that message me all the time, guys, that say, man, I wish they could work together. But I don't know if they understand we these guys, their age, and yeah. they're very, very limited to what they can do. I mean, Lawler can still throw a punch and all that, but but is it something that if you sat down and wrote a storyline, could you I know this is, but you could write a hell of a storyline for Jerry Lawler mm-hmm. coming in to do something. But if yeah, is that something you want to do? Well, I think whatever you're doing has to make sense. Um from a business standpoint, because that's we're here to get paid, right? That's the whole concept. I think um, with a lot of those guys, there is an ability for the company and the talent to make money without having to get in the ring. Um, you can do autograph signings. They can manage a faction. Um, I mean, there's ways for those guys to still be a part of the product and still give the young guys a rub and build new stars without – having to get in there and wrestle for 20, 25 minutes. I agree. I agree. Um, yeah. You know, I mean, physically you're only at your peak for so long. And the whole idea is to be able to get paid. And if I can get paid without taking bumps. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, I was yeah. at my peak for what, uh, was it 90 days? I think it was 90 days. Oh, like uh, four so hours. I, I think oh. with a lot of those guys, you can bring them in and you can do an angle and tell a good story. Um, but let me stop you right there. Let me stop you right there. What is it worth the money to do that with them though? Because it's going to be three shows. It's going to be 12 to $1,500, maybe 2000 to book the King to do that. Is it worth it? Okay. Now, it is worth is me. it. I, me personally. Okay. Just, King has enough money. Is it about the money at this point? You know, I mean, I I don't, I don't really know personally because I'm a giving person. You know, I mean, Mr. Chris is a giving person. You know, we would give you an autograph, but we'd have to charge you for it because, you know, that's just how we roll in these days. (laughs) But what I'm telling you, these days, these days, I mean, hell, you've always so gimmicks like crazy and you charge well, people for shit. Don't, well, yeah, but we don't got act really like just because you're a heel. Thing. Come on now. Um, but but what I'm saying is that um, like if you took these guys and I, and I said, imagine what people would think. How many of these younger guys that really, I mean, we know King, but like not on a personal level or anything like that, but King Cobra does. I mean, right. Derek, I mean, I guess Derek does. I mean, I would think he does. Um, Dustin does. 
I've never been to the guy's house. He's never called me for dinner and nothing like that. So I'm, I mean, I don't know him on a personal level. I mean, you know, whatever. And so I can't say anything about him as a person because I have no clue. All I can say is that he doesn't want to do business um, for a low amount of money, and that's fine. But if you don't need money, this is in your hometown. It's not going to cost you anything to come over here and help some some young guys out. And then when, when you are gone, because it's going to happen, it happens to all of us, we're all going to, I mean, we're all going to be old. We're all going to not be able to participate and that's fine. But, um, if you were to say, Hey, you know, King came out here and he did this. I'm going to tell you something about King Cobra. I don't care what anybody says. That Joker has helped so much and do stuff that a grown person. I don't know. Many grown people would do for their kids. You see what I'm saying? I'm talking about not monetary. None of this is monetary. No money. I'm talking about sweat. Manual labor. Simon, it's a work ethic. This man has a work ethic that no one, It's you just don't even know. He he worked in a factory for X amount of years, Mm -hmm. didn't miss a day of work. Not one day, I don't think. He went to a beast. Uh, But he, you know, and it's, I mean, part of me, I kind of see the king. I, I, I'm going to pay devil's advocate. I'm okay. the king of Memphis wrestling. I was always the guy. You're going to pay me this or I'm not going to come help you. The problem is you get into all of that or who you're going to put over. What are you going to do? Are you an attraction? I love Chris's idea of booking him as a manager, uh, a VIP, uh, whatever. But we've also seen something, and you, we may mention this, I think, during the show was, number one, Dustin and Ever Who helps book, and Dustin's never told anything on Shooting Star or anything about the whole booking committee. I know the Who helps, but just say the people that do booking. I've been told by guys that don't want you to know they think this, but the old, some of the old guys say that that booking is the best booking on Memphis wrestling ever because it's storyline layered. It's not the Corey Macklin who it was all about Corey Macklin and Jerry Lawler and rest of it was put him there, put him there, do that. Uh, it's not even old school Memphis wrestling because you book toward just Monday night. This is a layered power pro mm-hmm. might've been close to it. But when you have 12 weeks lined up and then plus you got three weeks, you're going to do this with the 12 weeks, you're going to do that. You still, Mike Anthony is a perfect example. If you go to the first show to the last show, this guy's storyline is still going strong without killing him. And it's smart booking. No one does this. No one in the business does what you guys are doing. Um, but, and I just, you know, part of me says y'all wouldn't need the headache. And I, I let's get off talking about Jerry Lawler. Well, uh, well uh, if I, I'll, I'll answer it for you. I think okay. if you, I think if you bring a guy in like that, you make sure that you use those three weeks to make a guy that's going to be a draw for the next 10 or 15 years. And then I think you get your return on your investment in the long term. If you make a guy and get him over that big where he can sell tickets for you for another decade. Well, that's what it, yeah. Yeah. Perfect example was Archer the way we, you did the first time with Archer and Brett. And also the old saying is I rem, I've told this story before, but Cactus Jack was in Jonesboro. He put over the Colorado kid, uh, Cactus Jack just got back from Japan doing all those death matches. And I was like, why are you putting all over the Colorado kid? He goes, well, the Colorado kid's going to be here. Exactly. We're going to make him. Mm-hmm. I'm gone. So that's what, that's why you bring in, you know, so-called stars. Y'all had a, let's talk about this. It's only on Patreon. I'm going to talk to Dustin uh, about it. About all right, go before ahead. Before we go to the next one. My, my, in my dream, you know, scenario, you know, like King did with Jr. I mean, he's a great, funny color commentator. We th- we all know him in Memphis as, as a wrestler, but people know him even funnier in like the attitude there and stuff. Imagine if that desk was just one seat wider, and it was Dustin as the host, Michael Cole, whatever you want to call him, you know, and Maria and King, uh, you know, color commentate. You know, he doesn't have to get up and come on and do all that stuff. I mean, that could really. I mean, that would really put Memphis and not just for a monetarily or whatever, I mean, for Dustin or whoever they, you know, you want to call it, but just in general, 
in wrestling. I mean, you know, it's just you would get those old, together. you know, those old guys like you know my age that would say, okay, it is Memphis wrestling because Jerry Lawler's <laughs> on it. Uh, but you know, you guys learned had figured this out along with Dustin, it's almost like the Jerry Jarrett's and the Odie's guys don't draw as well as the Booker T's, the Lance Archer's, the, all the, the fans here don't even know the fans that are going to your show. Don't really right. know uh, history much about Memphis trust. So they just know, you know, stone Cold and, and that, that section. Of, it, it's uh, such a different time. It is. It really is. Because, yeah. You're watching more people watch it online. Then people are watching. Like we have a, a million choices to watch on YouTube. That's just YouTube. Alone. Dude, I just I can't tell you when it comes to listens for the podcast compared right. to, uh, you know, when we first got started. To we got started sixty four weeks now on Memphis Wrestling. What right. it's done for the podcast, just it, it, crazy, it's a, crazy. It's a different day and age. <laughs> like the Coliseum was great because you had something to go to, but now. There's a, a, a billion choices and most people don't even have to leave their, you know, seat. I mean, they're on that phone and they, they don't leave the seat. I do. I, we joke about me leaving the house because I don't leave the house a lot, right. but I do everything right here, Simon. And Chris, right. Exactly. I, it, it, I do my, my job. I teach classes. Uh, I've got every wrestling promotion I want to watch. Uh, you can order matches. food. Food? Deliver to your house. I mean, yeah, you could. So, yeah, yeah, it is different. All right, let's talk about something real quick. See how much you want to talk about. Okay. Uh, had had I seen something on Facebook just uh, today earlier that Memphis wrestling is finally returning to uh, to Memphis for some reason. The Memphis wrestling's been gone, and Johnny Dotson, who's worked for Memphis wrestling, posted he's it's time to return. Even though Johnny's been on Memphis Wrestling, on Championship Wrestling for Memphis, and was part of the crew, why is Johnny starting his own Memphis Wrestling? I don't know. I mean, you'd have to ask him. I hope he does good. Yeah, I mean, there's enough time for everybody to get a piece. Like, I hope. Yeah. Get yeah. your little piece. Man, y'all be y'all baby facing here. I know. Oh, man, that's not baby, baby facing. Baby. I mean, hey, I, I, I don't know since the player Tyrone days. I, I mean, I hope nothing but good things for everybody, but I'm just telling you. Uh, and you, and again, you can look at my face. If you think you can outwork Dustin Starr, I mean, bro, I'm telling you, I would not, I would not want to be on the opposite side of anything that he does because he will stay up all night long. I, you know, I mean, like he's like, hey man, I got to do this, that, and then I'm like, dude, uh, who? When do you sleep, fool? Like, how do you? He does. Sleep? He like, does. He, there, it, there's no way. Yeah, I said this. I've sleep. said this before. Dude, and he's been got. Told- you know, you're kissing Dustin's ass, but the main thing is that he prepared for this. People yeah, don't yeah, understand bro. this. He, he 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 worked all the way up to that point, started the show, and continues to work 24-7. Uh, no one wants to do what he does. It I don't is, want Dustin's it, job at It is all. not something that was by chance. It was something that was a design from – And worked hard for 21 years hard. ago, the day that we started, he, he's in his mind thinking. Now, did it did it did we ever think this was going to happen like this? Probably not. But mm-hmm. as he's taking steps into his career, he was making those steps when we're all working shows. You know, you're thinking, oh, Dustin Starr don't really work very many shows. And I heard everybody saying that stuff because, I mean, you know, I wasn't, I mean, I couldn't sweat it because me and little Chris are booked everywhere. You know, you're booked over here. Derek's booked over here. These guys are booked over here. But right when the opportunity came up, if you, like, dude, I hadn't talked to him in forever. And I was like, hey, man, I, uh, I got this Lauderdale County Fair. Do you want to run it under this championship wrestling banner? I mean, why not? Um, might as well. You know what I'm saying? And, like, might as well do it. I mean, it's here. And then so we did it, and it's fine. But it, it's like one of those things that, like, you have to say, huh, there's something to this. And it's, it's like now you don't have to have a $20,000 giant camera on the, you know, like it doesn't, dude, you can do anything from your phone. Just like we were just talking about uh, a $500 phone can make. Well, a y'all movie. had a show at Dave and Buster's on Sunday. Guess what? I'll probably watch the whole show. Oh, Somebody filmed it. They'll send it to me and say, Hey, you want to mm-hmm. watch this? And I would, I mean, I, I didn't want to get out of my house to go to Dave Buster with all those people. 
But you don't uh, have to. And so I'll get to watch the show, uh, still still talk about the matches and all that. But it is. it is. You're able to do that. The people that – here's what really also surprises me, and I've talked to Mark Southern about this, and me and Dustin have talked about it. it and I say Mark Southern because Mark Southern draws a really good crowd mm-hmm. and because he promotes – you guys have worked for Mark. You know he promotes. Oh. He does a good crowd. Dustin does a good crowd back by television. Everybody else is drawing 70 people to 100 if they're lucky. And everybody – and but Dustin's doing everything wrong. That's what pisses me off. I hear people um, saying Dustin's doing everything I, wrong. I think the thing that those two guys do better than most promoters is actually go and make connections in the community. Um, you know, Dustin obviously has the Redbirds, the Grizzlies, very visible with with the CW network. And um, people see him out on the street. They know who he is. And he makes those connections with those people. Mark Southern does the same thing. He goes and he meets with his booster clubs and his local sports teams. And he finds people in those communities that want to be a part of what he's doing. I mean, and to do what they're doing, you got to have good people in your corner. And I think those guys making those connections and really immersing themselves in those communities gets the loyalty of the people. Um, and that's why they have such good crowds. Uh, yeah, just that I mean, y'all, the y'all, like I said, y'all work for Mark. Y'all know the crowds were good. Uh, just in Missouri is one of those hard states. You have to have all kinds of blood work and and all that kind of stuff. But, yeah, yeah, yeah I I'm think, like, If you notice who we work for, it's those two. Well, you know, and it draws crowds. So it, the posse is what it's about. See, that's what you well, got to understand. I mean, they I, I'm not equal numbers. That, so. but I mean, if you see the posse at a show, somebody's thought about it beforehand because we ain't going if it ain't right. You know, well, I know some day, places that y'all used to work exactly. that y'all won't work anymore because they try to pay you five to seven dollars uh, and don't want to do what you no, want to no, do. It's so. ne- it was never about any kind of money situations. I won't say that. It's the lack of effort. It's, it's just a lack of effort and, and of the way that they handle stuff. Um, so like just the, the whole, for instance, with, with, with here lately with the show, um, me personally, if somebody was doing something and I wanted, or I didn't agree with it, or, or I would have said, Hey, uh, Mr. Chris, I hear you're running a show in Bartlett. Um, I know I, I live in Bartlett. Is there any way I could possibly work with you guys, be on the show with you? And if he says no, cause you're terrible. Okay. Was there something I could do on the show or some way I could change your mind? Um, and so, and that, that was a thing. I don't know if y'all watch any of that stuff with Pat McAfee, but Vince McMahon says, and I I tell Dustin this all the time, if you're focused on the negative, it's a double negative because you're not focusing on the positive. And and that's what I'm talking about. Mark and Dustin are not worried about anybody else. Nobody watching not worried about them at all. They don't care about you. Nobody cares about anything that you're doing except for you. Worry about your damn self, and when you can pay your own bills, then don't then then do it. Because I'm worried about my house. I, I mean, I was horrible when I was booking shows. I was mad because my guys would go work as heels when they were baby faces on my show. What? Why did I care about shit like that? I shouldn't even it cared about it. Matter. I should have cared about what was going. On. So I made mistakes on that too. But Dustin and do. Mark do not. They don't care. They're worried about their show, and to the was. Yeah, make it yeah, the best yeah. it can be. And, and Simon, you was at BlackRock. It was a dude, short was show, awesome but show, fun. It Just boom, boom, boom. My, the wife loved it. She said, this is one of the best shows we've been to because there's no playing around. It's professional looking. Dustin's running around. Boom, all the wrestlers look like wrestlers, blah, blah, blah. So, except for the skim horns. Uh, but uh, I, I will say, the guy I wrestled at that show, um, that was his first match. You told me that. That's fantastic. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and he did, he really did a good job. I don't care what him. If you, I if agree one hundred percent. Yeah, he did a great job. I mean, great job. Because you know, all right, guys, a, we need to get off here. Talk, I'm so. gonna have to get something to eat, and I gotta start my theme song to go to the. Oh, well, um, since you do all the stuff from your computer, can you just send uh, me and Lil Chris like an Uber Eats or something? A what? Uber Eats, oh, like oh, Uber, Uber Eats. Eats. <laughs> yeah, they, they'll probably have to come from Dyersburg or like Memphis to my house. Charge me for this. See, I didn't know that. I didn't know you were charging me. Oh no, I wasn't charging you. I just said since you're so cool and you have all this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you, you know how to do it. I don't know how to do all that. So I'm. I tell you what. Uh, one of the things that I think about with you guys, uh, 
from the first days, uh, and I can't, I was joking about it, but it's the truth is that you guys understood the merch part and the gimmicks table before anyone else in this area. And I don't know if they all understand it or not, but I know you guys have sold probably more shirts and shit than anyone in this area uh, because of that. Understanding that you got to get that, that's where your money comes in at. Because I've seen y'all sell, right. Simon, I've seen you sell out of shirts at shows yeah. and, and, and and constantly doing something like that. I mean, it's 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 what you know. It's what helps the show the, overall. The whole y'all. In, invention of this whole thing where everybody's like, oh, y'all ain't got no wrestling tights or whatever. I mean, obviously we had tights on underneath there because that was the, the whole deal. We had boots in our bag and stuff. But the whole idea is to be successful. And I tell all the guys that I said we came in skateboard shorts and skateboard shoes and. Whatever, and so the first thing when people are saying that, I don't know if I want to book these guys, or I don't know. I mean, like, I don't get it. Like, why do they got face paint on their good guys? Like all this other crap, and and so you do have to work extra hard to make people see what you're doing, and that and that's what I tell them. The guys at the show, I'm like, if you're gonna wear that and that's your thing, cool. If you're not gonna go to the gym, you better work that shit. Like, if you whatever whatever your thing is, because we all have something that works for us. And that's the thing, like market, whatever you got, like uh, that big Ben dude, he's seven foot tall. Y'all ain't going to be seven foot tall. He's marketing that. What's different than you? I mean, look at Mr. I really didn't think y'all could be heels. I said that on the show. I was like, you, and you, y'all heard me. I said, I don't even want to see the posse wrestle. I just want to see them doing comedy or a comedy match. That's what I, man, y'all turn. That's why your ass is on the back of the shirt because we're going to get your ass. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well uh hey guys we'll wrap this up um hey thanks Thank guys i do appreciate it are you enjoying the episode well cash app us that's right dollar sign b-t-s-t-s you don't have cash app download it and get five dollars that's right five dollars that's dollar sign b-t-s-t-s dollar sign b-t-s-t-s Our Uber Eats code Eats Dash Brian T two four seven nine O U E. That's Eat Dash Brian T two four seven nine zero U E. Use that code and get twenty dollars off a twenty five dollar order. Mysterious Productions. Ooh, <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Spunk Lube. Spunk Lube is the perfect blend of water and silicone. It is an all-purpose personal lubricant that can be used for any occasion. You will love the natural feeling and look of it. It is safe for sensitive skin. Go to spunklube.com and tell them shoot my shiznit sink. It's Saturday night and it's going down. Me and her have been at it for a couple of rounds. When things got dry, man. Patreon, only $5. July is Super Summer Giveaway Spectacular with over $100 worth of merch in the giveaway. Brought to you by B&B Collections in Jonesboro. It's a Funko Pop of The Rock and one of Edge. That's right, two Funko Pops. A Stone Cold Steve Austin Championship Collection Hero Collector. A little statue there. Very few of these available ever. It's a Dusty Rhodes Legend shirt. That's right. And a Memphis Wrestling t-shirt. BBQ Blues and Body Slams t-shirt. And finally, a package from our sponsor for July. It's Manscaped.com. Use promo code STSPOD20. Link to our Patreon will be in the description of the video. Or also, it can be in the description of the podcast. Thank you for listening. Hey guys, I'm going to take a moment right here to talk to you about Manscaped.com. Let's get some little cute music playing. Oh, there we go. Hey, you got Bush? You definitely do if you haven't tried the best products from our sponsor today. Manscaped is sponsoring us all month of July. Make sure you use an STS Pod 20, STS Pod 20 for that discount code. Guys, take control of your bush is important. 
these products are so good, you're going to be showing pride in your new bush-free yard. It's a fact that you will have the best kept, well, you know, nutsack that there is. <laughs> Save big and be the most hygienic version of yourself by using our discount code. Remember, STSPOD20. Hey, whether you're looking to go bald like uh, like Stone Cold's head or you just want a safe trim, Manscaped is dedicated to helping you level up your full body grooming game. The grooming package I highly recommend is the Performance Package 4.0. Inside the package is the Lawnmower 4.0. This electric trimmer is a bush's worst nightmare. This trimmer is designed to reduce grooming accidents and shave hair on loose skin thanks to the ceramic blade and advanced skin safe technology. No need for night vision goggles. This trimmer has an LED light to allow you to mow the lawn in the dark. It's basic landscaping when you trim the hedges the trees stand taller get it <laughs> second best tool in the performance package is the weed whacker this fine tune nose ear hair trimmer will make sure your nasty nose pubes are under control instantly add some pep in your step with the crop preserver ball deodorant and the crop reviver spray on testy toner with a performance package purchase, you get two free gifts. That's right, two free gifts. The Shed Travel Bag and the Patent High Performance Reduced Chafing Manscaped Boxers. They have a bunch of other products on their website to help you maximize your confidence and your grooming game. Hey, remember, get 20% off and free shipping with the code STSPOD20. That's right, STSPOD20 at manscaped.com that's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the code STSPOD20 it's time you leveled up with the ultimate bushwhacking tools from manscaped alright hey you can quit the music now. back to the show Here's what's coming up for Memphis Wrestling. July 10th is our next live TV taping featuring Memphis hip-hop artist Al Capone, Memphis Grizzlies mascot Grizz, and MC BLJ, plus WWE star Big Con. Catch them live along with the stars of Memphis Wrestling next Sunday, July 10th. Then July 31st is on sale now. Just when you thought it was safe to get back in the ring, Shark Boy is coming to Memphis Wrestling. Oh, shell yeah! All tickets are on sale now. Get yours right now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. This episode is also brought to you by SpunkLoop.com. Remember when you're getting funky like a monkey, if you know what I mean, use Spunky. That's right. Go to www.SpunkLoop.com and tell them STS Pod sent you. You want the best, you got the best. The best little wrestling podcast in the business. All episodes on www.stspod.club. Did you enjoy that episode? Cash app us at dollar sign BTSTS. If you've never downloaded the Cash App app, Download it today. You'll get a free, that's right, a free $5 for using the code dollar sign BTSTS. That's dollar sign BTSTS. Hey, that was another great episode of Shooting the Shiznet. Thank you for listening, and thank you to all our sponsors. A big shout out to Bob McGee at Pro Wrestling's Between the Sheets. Remember, you can reach us on Twitter at Comic Book Mark BT, Instagram at BT Shoot the Shizit. That's right, Shoot the Shizit without a G. 
Facebook Shooting the Shit Net, and Facebook Cool Kids Wrestling and MMA Talk. If we don't like you in that group, first you have to ask to get in. If we don't like you, we'll kick you out. All the episodes are at one place, and that's www.stspod.club. Podcast Roll Call. Who's Right Podcast. Homeboys Podcast. D3 Radio, my buddies Richard Josh. My World with Conrad Thompson and my friend Jeff Dern. Lance's favorite include Nickology, Rock Solid, Playlist Wars, I'm Bad Podcast. Hey guys, remember, keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars.